Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, uh, we'll be seeing uh, that is POS tagging, uh, which stands for part of speech tagging. So part of speech basically comes from the English language literature or like whenever you uh, learn about grammars. So there we have different uh, constructs like nouns, adjectives, adverbs, prepositions like that. So those in a uh, simple essence are called as parts of speech so whenever you uh, do nlp uh, you have to deal with the english constructs also so uh, something or some part of the uh, english language grammars are also involved whenever you do deal with nlp projects or whenever you do any work with nlp okay so let's jump on to uh, the discussion so uh, POS explains how a word is used in a sentence so it gives its importance or significance so uh, basically just talking about there are eight main POS that is nouns, pronouns, adjectives, verbs, adverbs, prepositions, conjunctions and interjections okay so uh, a basic noun uh, which is uh, given as capital N so name of any place a name of a person's name name of any object any entity everything which starts with capital letters we have learned in that way so those are categorized as nouns so say for example David Casanova Berlin calendar so these are uh, given or classified as nouns then we have verbs uh, so we have words like go, speak, run, eat, play, live, walk. Uh, those are basically verbs. I shouldn't be giving any further explanations on that. Uh, then we have adjectives. Uh, adjectives can include, uh, I mean, uh, if you uh, ask me like how we can describe adjectives. So those are helping nouns. So for a noun, it will be... Uh, word that is attached before that so that will be basically describing nouns okay so it can be also a number like two uh, then young happy angry like that uh, then we have adverbs so uh, slowly quietly always near like that there are many in the literature then we have preposition uh, at on in from with under beneath above like that so those everything comes under parts of speech so there are a few more parts to it so uh, there are conjunctions uh, which joins uh, two uh, words that is and or uh, but because if then we have pronouns i you we they uh, he she me us okay uh, if you are addressing a person or a group of persons you basically use pronouns then we have interjection so it's like uh, with explanation ouch wow great help like that okay so these are common parts of speech now let's move on to pos tagging what this thing is basically i'll just move to the upper left side okay so uh, pos tagging is nothing but the process of converting a sentence to form uh, a basically list of words of tuples so where you have each of the words and there will be some tags associated with that okay so each tuple will be having a uh, form so that will be a word and tag so whatever words are there in that and uh, before that we'll do the filtering for the stop words so stop words are not included in pos just the essential words and in which category they'll give or they fall under so for that we'll have a separate tag list that I'll be uh, demonstrating you later. So a tag is nothing but a part of speech tag and signifies whether the word is a noun, adjective, verb and so on. So that you can consider basically as a classification uh, how we can do that thing. Okay, so POS tagging is a supervised learning solution that uses features like the previous word, next word, uh, is the first letter capitalized etc and so on okay so since uh, we have talked about like it uses supervised learning solution there should be some supervised machine learning algorithm at the back end to do this activity so uh, to do that we have a particular uh, algorithm called as the average perceptron tagger okay 
so this average perceptron tagger is the uh, king behind all of this tagging process so it does this activity so uh, before that we talked about tags tags is not the way uh, which i have mentioned before like n a d j there are a different set of uh, tags uh, under which these words are defined so for that uh, i'll just uh, give an idea of this that is pen tree bank data set so this is actually a project uh, that is pen tree bank so this people uh, they did some activity and we can actually read that is a ptb data set is widely used in the ml uh, literature for nlp research so there they give word level uh, ptb so any word level ptb does not contain capital letters numbers and punctuations and the vocabulary is capped at uh, 10000 unique words which is relatively smaller in comparison to most of the modern data sets and can result in larger number out of uh, vocabulary tokens so uh, actually uh, a part of this project uh, gave rise to this uh, pos tax so i'll be just giving you uh, the idea of what this uh, tag actually is so uh let me first end this presentation okay so uh this was the uh, perceptron tagger algorithm uh, that i was talking about so uh as you can see it implements a pos tagging using the averaged uh, structured perceptron algorithm so uh you can read about this i'll just uh, put the link in the description uh, make sure you check this out and also they have a Uh, presentation in which they talk about uh, the uh, implementation how they did this perceptron averaging uh, for this different tags and talking about this tags uh, this is what we uh, discuss uh, that is uh, actually uh, this is a project which is done by the uh, ptb uh, project tree bank so uh, in 2003 they actually did this project and based upon this project they give their own specialized tags so uh, there are uh, 36 unique different uh, tags which are there so for each of the tag uh, you can find the description so whenever we do an nlp uh, activity based upon this pos tags the tags which will be giving we have to read out the meaning based upon this okay so uh, there are 36 different categories or classifications for each of the words that we encounter so uh, let's quickly jump on to the python review of how this basically looks like so uh, this is my uh, simple uh, snippet to demonstrate uh, what is a pos tagging so uh, first of all uh, i'll import nltk uh, natural language toolkit and uh, you need uh, this thing that is nltk download you have to download this for the first time that is the average perceptron tagger without which uh, it cannot tag the words it is as simple as that so first you have to download this uh, average perceptron tagger and uh, then we'll be needing uh, the help of stop words okay so for uh, nltk corpus import stop words then tokenize word tokenize and sentence tokenization okay so first we'll get the set of uh, stop words which are there so that's kept in an object sw so uh, i'll take a famous quote from uh, albert einstein uh, two things are infinite the universe and human stupidity and i'm not sure about the universe so uh, this is a quote so this quote we have to tokenize first so first i'll pass on to sentence tokenization uh, so you can use the both way word tokenization sentence tokenization so first i'll uh tokenize this uh from sentence tokenization so i'll have the tokenized uh set here so that will be a list basically and for each of the tokens which is present inside this i'll pass into a word list okay so that is nltk dot word list of uh word tokenize and then uh, what i'll do is i'll just refine this thing uh and i'll just check if it's not contained in these stop words so this is the filter that we append do so that is the same thing we have uh, seen before this also and uh, for that words which are not there in the stop words we'll have a final set of word list which are just pertaining to that particular uh, quote or particular string 
and for those particular uh, tokens will be attaching POS tags okay so that is done by this particular function or method uh, and we'll just print the tagged uh, tuples I mean the keywords okay so if that is clear then I'll just run this as you can see uh, from this 2 was given a CD so CD stands for cardinal number so as you can see it uh, identified 2 as a number so now 2 here is not in uh, figures but it is in words okay TWO2 so it is giving it as CD cardinal number then things so things were given as NNS so NNS is nothing but noun and plural yeah it's right things it's not singular object but multiple objects then we have infinite infinite is uh, given a tag as JJ which stands for adjective uh, actually it's a number that's why it's given as adjective then we have uh, some punctuation so punctuations are classified as colon so for colon and semicolon both are given the same tag then again for universe it is given as uh, JJ uh, human it is JJ stupidity it is NN uh, then I uh, that is for individual uh, alphabet that is PRP so PRP stands for personal pronoun okay then uh, we have M M stands for uh, or it is given as VVP so VVP is for verb non third personal singular present okay so it is given tags in this way and sure is JJ again adjective universe NN like that so uh, this was a simple code that I have taken uh, but you can do an activity for very large chunk of uh, text and you can basically do this but uh, this is uh, done most of the time when you have a large corpus and just only for specific words you have to encode okay so for that thing you basically uh, use this POS tags okay so well uh, that was all regarding a quick overview of what the POS tags are there in NLP so hope you are enjoying this video and if you found this video helpful please do like share comment and if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing thank you very much for watching this video